be the number of people here for, for Penn State hockey. Very exciting to see that. Coach, you're a Big Ten grad, played at Wisconsin. What, uh, what does that mean to come here to Penn State? I know this is your first trip here, but what do you think? It means a lot. I mean, it's, it's when we were able to schedule a couple games with Penn State, it was, uh, we were very happy. I was certainly very excited. Uh, I've known uh, Joe for quite a long time and, and know he, you know, basically uh, brought the program to where it is um, from the club hockey teams and the success he had there. Um, so I was excited for Joe when when uh, when he was able to get this thing to the Division One level. Um, and uh, the, the, the fact that it's a Big Ten, you know, when I played, obviously it was just the WCHA, uh, you know, at Wisconsin, and, and uh, it's it's great to have it become a Big Ten sport. Yeah, that, that, is, that will help hockey, I think, uh, specifically the American-born hockey player. Uh, I think it'll force other conferences to elevate uh, the way they operate. Um, and, and again, that's why I'm excited you know, for Penn State to see the, the representation here just from the, the media standpoint. I think this is a great market for hockey. Um, I, I know everyone here is obviously, it sounds like either a Flyer fan or a, or a Penguin fan. And, uh, but nonetheless, a hockey fan. And it's a pretty good area. Uh, I thought they, that the, uh, you know, very competitive group of kids, very hungry group of kids. Um, you know, that was the difference tonight. The, the, the intention uh, on their behalf to, to uh, to make it work no matter what shots were, no matter what situations were. Um, you know, they, they played a very mature game. Um, and I thought, you know, on the flip side, that's, that's what we lacked. I mean, that's why we love to play these type of games. Uh, you get into an emotional setting with a good crowd and, you know, older players that have that next level of maturity, um, next level of focus. It's, it's a tremendous learning ground for 17-year-old players. Um, and that's what it was tonight. So, you know, certainly uh, frustrating on our behalf on the coaching side because you, you certainly play to win. Um, and the lessons we learned today are, are great for us in, as far as the process of what we're, our program is about. I mean, this is, this is why you come to, to, this is why we were excited to have this on the schedule. You know, we knew we would get a competitive game here in an atmosphere that would produce some pressure. And, um, we didn't respond as, as well as we would have liked, but again, it's a maturing process for our guys. In that, I didn't even know the goalie's name, but I figured when you said one player, uh, outstanding. He kept the score tight, um, you know, through some repetition of quality chances where there could have been a, a bigger spread and that would have, uh, the game, you know, would have been a real significant challenge for them to to get back into it um, he kept it tight long enough for them to convert on scoring chances and a credit both ways to to their group of, of players that stayed persistent uh, but his focus was outstanding and, and certainly a key performance uh, by by him in that I mean there's no question about that he he robbed a few guys uh, more than a few guys He is. He's a special player, um, be, for just for that reason. That that intangible quality of, um, you know, uh, competitiveness, determination, focus. I mean, he's um, not only is he a great athlete, not only does he have great size. That those intangibles that that, uh, that you saw tonight are why his future is pretty bright. Yeah. Okay.